my god. Okay. So I went shopping this week and this is what I got. Don't judge. I got some really cute. I think they're really cute. Um, oh my god, there are. I love them. Okay, they're Paul Green loafers. And I think they have a beautiful, obviously pointed toe and shape to them. And they are, let me tell you. Oh, oh amazing. Oh my god, they're going to look so cute with, um, I'm going to go get some funky socks and a pair of any kind of pants, slacks, and a belt, and maybe like a simple cardigan. Oh, I think they're going to look just fabulous. I love them. I love them. The next thing that I found were these Eric Michael espadrilles in that beautiful coppery brown, um, like a silk pot de soie. And they're really pretty. I think they're really, really pretty. that I need to retie the bow, but again, oh, if I could just show you my foot, and um, oh, they're so, they're so comfortable, and if I paint my toenails in a beautiful fall color to match, I love them. So those two shoes. Let me put them out my way. Maybe I'll break this up into two videos so it's not so long. Oh, I got this. This that I'm wearing I found in the men's section. It's by Kenneth Cole. And, God, I might wear this with jeans and those cute loafers when the, it's just, you know, I know you can't wear white in the winter and things like that, but um, I can do whatever I want this little uh, sweatshirt and yeah it's got you know the blue and white stripe all the way around it at the cuffs not at the bottom oh but for fall I can't wait so I have an affinity for this type of a necklace and that one is on the wrong side so I need to get some necklace stands so that I can can you see the stations right at the top and the second chain or the third chain down has the pink in the middle and then the pink you can see it so yeah that's how that's going to look on a Ooh, now I've got to go find myself something that that will work on. But I, I like that design. I think the only thing that I'm going to have to do is maybe tighten the hook on it. Maybe not. No. Guys, I don't know if I should always tell you the great deals or whatever that they were. Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't. i got to go put it on my girl. things that I found were in the belt family and I don't know why and I just did this today. I went in this store and somebody must have just brought in some belts and let me get the other one here. It's kind of strange. The first belt that caught my eye, let me see if I'm okay where I am, I just moved the camera. first belt that caught my eye was this one. Got a nice buckle, you know. I think this one said it was three dollars, and it really doesn't even look. Um, it's probably three dollars because it wasn't very worn, and I'm okay with that this time. It was really pretty. Uh, made in Guatemala. This 
this one. And it is kind of a rusty burgundy with this kind of a buckle. And this one, well, it's made in China, so that doesn't make me very happy. But it's leather, and it's by Ralph Lauren. So it'll go like, how will it go? Like that. It's a pretty buckle. You see all of the uh, little, I don't know what you call them. You call them rhinestones, I guess, where, where you're from. The other thing that I found, and this might be a man's belt doesn't say how long it is. Yes, it does. It's a 38. So hopefully this belt will work for my husband. And it was, what's that say? Does this say made in Italy? Let's see if you can see that. Does that say made in Italy? Let me check. It does. It says made in Italy. And again, you know, we go through it and right down here, hasn't been worn, so it's not like, you know, it's not like somebody had it on for years and years and years, and you, it's got a big crease and crimp in the leather. And this one I was pretty happy about, too. This one, again, somebody must have brought them in at the same time. This one is a 38 black coach belt. That's what that is. Really. Two bucks. Can you see that coach? So that was coach. And again, this one has more so a little bit of wear on the end. You know? But I've seen them wear you know, probably because it's made a little bit nicer. Well, I got that for my daughter, but I guess it's a man's belt. So, we'll see how that goes. These are a few items that um, I found at the store that actually are sewing related. So, I think I'll set those aside. Man's linen shirt, yada yada. That's what my husband likes. Is it linen? I think it's linen. People, I can't see without my glasses. If I put my glasses on, you're going to see that I've got a big old light behind me. I found him by the gap. You know, a nice, it's 70% wool. So that's going to be a really nice um, shirt for the winter. This one was, this one's for my son. This was a, this was a, I don't know. This one's by Burberry. And it's medium. And it's a little bit more colorful, so maybe that's something that my son can wear at his jobs. Cute top with the peak hole. Black and white. I have to stop buying black and white. I like it. I had this one on the other day trying it out. And this one is a, what is it? Tahari. High dyed blue and black short sleeve, high low waist, super duper soft. Um, don't know what this is, but I know I liked the blue, and maybe it will go with my belt. And it is a little jacket for fall because down here that tends to be my go-to uniform is a t-shirt and then a jacket and it's a three-quarter sleeve so that's kind of cute 
daughter going away, so she's got to have lots of jeans to wear. I found these are adorable. Little Tommy Hill figure. And they look like they might be three quarter in uh, length. But not, you know, not flared or anything. Cute little florally pattern inside, I think. Then a couple of bullhead jeans. Her. Another pair of bullhead jeans. These are the skinny jeans for her to take. Ooh. They put this in a separate bag for me because it's so heavy. It's actually going to bring the scale down to actually weigh it. Let's see. Can you hear that? This one I think was $4, but again, that's okay. It's heavy. Heavy metal. Belt. Wait, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I have a little bit of fixing to do on the end. Where it... end of it slipped out of its piece. But I think with tools it should be just fine. And that is I like me some vintage. Okay, now maybe I have a really big problem with this video because I acted kind of goofy and I might have to delete the whole thing. Or you know what? I probably won't delete the whole thing and that's just what you're going to have to watch. Because that's who I am. Alright, since that just kicked on, um, I'm going to do the next two piles here in part two because it looks like I am at 18 minutes so yeah stick around for part two of this shopping spree that I did <laughs>